nice of you to drop in. Hello people, I'm the Rokong Book Gamer, and today I'm going to be counting down my top 5 favorite supervillains without superpowers. Now I already did one of these for top 5 heroes without superpowers, and you can click on screen right now to go and see that. Uh, so yeah, it was requested that I do one for the villains, I figured, okay, why not, I'll do it. Kicking off the list at number 5 is Baron Zemo. Now Baron Zemo occasionally has powers when he's got his moonstones, because those do grant him powers, but uh, a lot of the times he doesn't have them, so that's why he's on this list. He's awesome, he's done a lot of the cool things. Heck, there, he even has a reason for wearing his mask, besides the fact that, hey, he's a supervillain, that's kind of a tradition. He actually has a reason, his face is really super messed up, so he wears the mask for that reason. And he's done a lot of cool things, like he outed Bucky as the Winter Soldier, because when Bucky came back and was like, Captain America took over Captain America's position when uh, Steve died. Everyone was like, oh, cool, Bucky's Captain America. And then he's like, yeah, but he was also Winter Soldier. And Winter Soldier did a lot of bad things. He leaked, like, uh, proof to the press. And that wasn't very good for Bucky. And, and needless to say, Bucky did not enjoy having that leaked to him. And the press came down hard on him. And just people did not look at Captain America the same. But yeah, that's why Baron Zemo is at the number five position. Also, he carries around a really cool sword. And taking up the number four position on this list is the Riddler. Now, Riddler is one of my favorite villains, and to me, he doesn't get the attention he deserves. A lot of people just write him off because he does fluctuate from being a C-list villain to an A-list villain a lot. But to me, he's really cool, and he challenges Batman on an intellectual level that's different than the Joker. Like, Joker messes with Batman, does all these little crazy things. But uh, Riddler straight up goes after, like, his brain. It's like, who's smarter out of the two of us? It's a, it's a straight-up competition. It's really cool, like in Hush, in Batman Hush, when I found out Riddler was behind all of that, it just like blew my mind. I was like, holy crap, Riddler was behind everything. I thought it was Hush this whole time, but it turned out it was Riddler. Some people didn't like that in that, story, like, in that story arc. I thought it was awesome. I thought it was really cool seeing that Riddler was behind it all, because during the story arc, Batman just writes Riddler off. He's like, nah, he's just like a C-lister. No one cares about Riddler, because Riddler had not done anything in a while in the comics, and Riddler came back in a big way in this, although he... He was only, like, at the very end of the book, when you find out that he did everything, it was so cool. There's also this really good issue for, um, when the New 52 did their Villains Month issue, they did one that spotlighted Riddler, and Riddler goes up to Wayne Tower when Batman's gone, and just takes it over no problem. Like, he just walks up in there, and takes over, and then he just sits on the roof, and he's like... <sighs> just waiting for Batman because he knows no one else can challenge his intelligence in Gotham. And he's just sitting there. And it was so cool seeing Riddler do his thing. And it was my favorite Villains Month issue. And that is why Riddler is at number four. Now, number three and number two are very interchangeable for me. They're like neck and neck, but I had to put them at different positions, so I did. But anyways, number three is the Joker. Now, the Joker is awesome, one of my favorite villains ever, and he's arguably done more to his hero than any other villain has. Like, he killed Jason Todd, he paralyzed Barbara Gordon, he did something that I will not spoil in the newest Endgame, well, in the newest Batman storyline, Batman Endgame. He's done a lot of crazy stuff that has messed with Batman so much, and then there's all these different reasons, like, why he does it. That there's all these different motivations. Sometimes it's because he wants to make Batman better. That's why he doesn't kill Batman. He just messes with him. Other times he is trying to kill Batman. It's just like he has to do it his specific way. And just there's so many different alterations to Bat uh, to Joker. And he's so creepy. He's definitely the creepiest villain I have on this list. Like in Batman R.I.P., was probably, to me, the creepiest Joker has ever been. Like, there's this one panel where it's a hallucination of Joker. Like, he had, like, slit the throats of Tim Drake, Nightwing, and Jim Gordon. It is just creepy. And one of my favorite Joker moments is when Damien went to go kill Joker because Joker was locked up, and jo uh, Damien took a crowbar, started beating on Joker, and was like, I know you're not actually insane, you just enjoy killing people, and you need to die. And then uh, Joker turns the tables on him because, you know, he's Joker, he outsmarts him, and he says, but you're right about me, baby boy wonder. I'm not mad, not even a teeny bit. I'm not mad at all. I'm just differently sane. And it was so awesome. It's like, yeah, he just does this because he really does enjoy it. This version of Joker. Again, there are so many different versions of Joker. Every writer puts their own spin on him. And just Joker is such an awesome character. And Killing Joke is one of the best storylines for a uh, supervillain. Maybe the best. But I would say there's one more that I prefer over it. But anyways, 
Joker is awesome. Number two is Storm Shadow, specifically the comic book version, because that is my favorite version of, of Storm Shadow. He's so awesome. He, him and Snake Eyes has such an amazing relationship, and Storm Shadow himself is a very complex character, and he's also just a force of nature that can only be stopped by Snake Eyes. Like, seeing Storm Shadow fight someone is very swift a lot of the times, the way they uh, do the art. It's so cool. He's got an awesome costume as well. It's one of my favorites. He's the White Ninja. He looks awesome, and like, him, like, how him and uh, Snake Eyes are developed, like how they knew each other before either of them were their, you know, respective names, is a really interesting storyline in Snake Eyes Declassified. Like, one of the, I'll just go over it briefly, to where um, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow fought in the Korean slash Vietnam War. It was never specified. They were just, like, you know, in one of those wars. And they were fighting with each other. Storm Shadow saved Snake Eyes. They became sort of brothers over there. And then after the war, Storm Shadow's like, hey, come and find me uh, over at, like, my, uh, my, not parents, but my family dojo. Joe. and so he did turns out they're like this big clan and then through like all these months and years of like training snake eyes becomes the favorable one over storm Shao, even though it's storm Shao's family who runs the clan storm Shao doesn't like that he be starts becoming angry and bitter and then storm shadow's master dies who is also his uncle and so they're like Okay, it seems like Storm Shadow did this because he's all bitter. Also, it was he was killed with a bow and arrow, which is Storm Shadow's main weapon, and so everyone thinks Storm Shadow did it, and they really turn against him, and it just turns him like mad and bitter, and so that's when he joins Cobra. And it was just really cool, like seeing how complex he is. And in other storylines, it's to where like he got mind controlled by Cobra. He's just a really cool villain, and again, he's a force of nature. Like no one but Sto uh, but Snake Eyes can stop him, and he's really cool. Number one is Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor is so awesome. He has absolutely no powers, but he fights Superman on a regular basis. He's Superman's main enemy. How cool is that? Having no powers and taking on one of the most powerful characters in the DCU. He's also the smartest guy in the DCU. He's just overall awesome. He has the only like villain story, in my opinion, that really competes with Killing Joke. I don't know if I like it or Killing Joke better. They're both awesome, which is Lex Luthor, Man of Steel. It's such a cool uh, storyline with awesome art. Like, the artist shows you how Superman looks in Lex Luthor's eyes. Like, he's constantly got the red heat vision eyes, and he looks creepy. Like, Superman looks evil, because they're showing you it from Lex Luthor's perspective. And Lex Luthor is such a cool, awesome guy. He's also one of only three people to ever wield an orange ring. Because orange represents greed and the color spectrum of the Lantern Corps, and him, well, Lex Luthor, Hal Jordan, and Agent Orange are the only three to ever wield them because, you know, they're greedy. The leader is Agent Orange, and so he's never wanted anyone else to ever have a, a ring, so he creates his own friends and stuff, and he hated the fact that Lex Luthor has had an orange ring because, you know, he's he's all greedy, and it's just really cool. He's had some awesome storylines, like he's taken on Vandal Savage, and he's taken down, like, him and his injustice. Justice League have taken down the Justice League, like, they captured all of them, and he's done some awesome stuff against Superman, like, there's this really awesome panel in, uh, Superman Last Son, to where he just straight up kills this one Kryptonian, because, um, Zod and all his cronies have come down to Earth, and, like, they've taken over Metropolis, and so, Lex Luthor goes, and he gives this awesome speech to this guy, and just straight up kills him, and then he's like, huh, so that's what it's like to kill a Kryptonian, it's so cool, he's even the guy who created the Bizarro, he's just an awesome, and an overall awesome villain he is my favorite villain he's so cool so yeah those are my top five favorite villains without powers please let me know your guys is in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like